A Belton man is dead tonight after a quick moving fire destroyed his mobile home. It happened at the Springdale Lake Estates near I 49 and Missouri 58. 41 Action News' Andres Gutierrez is live in Belton with more on what happened this morning. And it's where they found him that's most disturbing, Andres. Hey there, Krista. We're actually right now inside Firehouse 2. Firefighters from this particular fire station were among the first units to respond to this particular fire. We're about half a mile away from the, where this fire occurred, and they say the smoke was visible all the way from here. And tonight, the fire has claimed the life of a man that the neighbors say was handicapped. It scared me to death. First time I'd ever been close to anything like that. What started as a morning of catching up on the computer for Sandra Deal changed within a matter of seconds around 8.30. Um, I heard this pop pop and I knew it was a, a sound that I had never heard before, something different. And I got up and just went to the window and that's when I seen it. It was flames coming from her neighbor's mobile home at times shooting 10 to 15 feet in the air. Deal tried to get inside the burning home, but the fire was too strong, even damaging her home as well. I feel bad that I couldn't help him. I couldn't go get him, but I did, you know, the best I could. It took nearly two dozen firefighters to put out the flames, and when they did, they found the man's body in one of the hallways. Firefighters arrived in four to five minutes after receiving the call. Obviously, days like today shows that, you know, you've got to have that staffing uh, in order to effectively uh, perform an operation. The deputy fire chief took a moment to point his concerns over the city's upcoming budget negotiations, fearing cuts to the fire department. The assistant city manager told us via email that they're in the preliminary stages of recommending a budget to the city council. And although department requests are $1.8 million short of the projected revenue, they have no specific information on cuts to the fire department. And we've learned that the fire union and the city of Belton will begin budget talks starting tomorrow. As far as that fire, the, the state's fire marshal is assisting in the investigation to determine how and where this fire started. They have still not released an ID on the man. Reporting live in Belton, I'm Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.